home. We went to Wacheng Oneko's home. We went to Robert Oko's home. I was privileged to meet the wife. And Your Excellency, God put something in my heart to change the lives of the people in this region. I'm making a public announcement today. And it is nothing political. I'm not interested in politics because I have a plan. Both Excellencies are aware of it. All I am asking for is their continued support. And nitawaita mfungwe mashule na makanisa yeri mpaka museme yue metosha. Ata sasa toka yeri ukuje saidietu. That one, Your Excellency, I commit to you. Before God, the public and the president, I will change this area. In fact, my first school that I wanted to start working on was is Pap Nyadiel, just down the road. But my father, having been brought here, this will be my first place. And, Your Excellency, so knowing your working relationship with him, let me just put this to rest. As a family and as a community, we thank you for putting your trust in general. Uh, you are not lucky to come by road. You came, I think, by helicopter. But on the road, people from all the counties on the way here, Kisumu, all the markets along the road, they are bidding farewell to the general. They didn't even know him, some of them, but they've lost a son of the land. And he was a great man. And the only way I can continue his legacy is by what I've said. Because if we're in, I think it's Equatorial Guinea, where when a general dies, I would just walk to the coffin, take his ranks and medals, and I start giving orders to the generals there. Sasa wewe kamata ile pale, kamata ile pale. But because we live in a democracy, unfortunately, I may not be able to wear his ranks. <laughs> so, Your Excellency, once again, thank you very much. Now, what watch a kusema is zao at yo, he did this, this. These guys were friends in state house. Nyinyam Jay Kuenda Uko, Mimi Mzendo Alkwana Niambia, and Apenda President Sana, they are good friends. So, yo, Maneno, from today, unless you're quoting me, Mwachane Nayo. Na kwanza, your bloggers are always posting those things. Let me just say, Your Excellency, when my mom called me and told me your dad has gone down in a helicopter crash, they are very useless bloggers. You're so quick to post pictures. I've been told by my mother, my father has gone down. Ten minutes later, I'm seeing a helicopter burning. What does that mean? Of course he's dead. And people are so insensitive. So you broke the news. Umepewa EGH for breaking the news that the general is dead. Let us be sensitive. Tafadhali, bloggers, watch your media. Mombiwa bloggers, watch mcheso. I'd mentioned them by name. Lakini yo, yo tabia pana. And I really want to appreciate, I won't mention the person who finally told me Mze has rested and really encouraged me in that moment and told me, now is the time to be strong. Kwa hayo mengi na machache, mabibibi na mabwana, asante nisani. That was the CIA tribute. Yesterday was a military one. On Friday, during his memorial, we have very many stories about General which would have everyone laughing for very many minutes. So hopefully you can join us then as well. As Anteni Sana. Thank you very much, Joel. Your Excellency, the son of a general, speaks like a general. Let's give him one more round of applause as he takes his seat. And we now move from the family and we want to have a church representative and on behalf of the church, let me call Mr. Philip Opio, who is going to speak on behalf of the church. Mr. Philip Opio, kindly, if you may advance, so that you may give the remarks on behalf of the church. After that, we'll move then to the military. Tumpigia makofi akija. Your Excellency, the President, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, the mourners present, I want to greet you in the name of the Lord. I'm a member of the church, St. Thomas Church. We used to be in the church with the general, and he impressed us so much. On 31st, he was there, 31st, last month 
we were with him. He took the Holy Communion. It was an ordinary church. All of us were there. And my 